so currently we're seeing a lot of biopics getting announced, especially for pop stars. Madonna is working on writing and directing her own biopic. But most recently, Britney Spears announced that she is working on her own biopic. She tweeted out, excited to share with my fans that I've been working on a secret project with Mark Platt. He's always made my favorite movies. Stay tuned. So this seems to be a confirmation that Universal is working on her biopic. It's going to be based on her memoir, The Woman in Me, which I unfortunately didn't get a chance to read. Um, I doubt that she was the one who wrote it, though. They have the rights to develop a movie based on that. It's getting directed by John Chu, the same director um, of Wicked, okay. which is coming out later yeah. this year. And uh, Mark Platt is going to be producing the movie. Um, so it's not so secret anymore. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be super popular, though, because... People are just obsessed with. What do you think does better, this or a Madonna biopic? Definitely Britney, right? Because yeah. there's she's, more yeah. cultural interest People around are over yeah. Madonna. Britney's still hot. Uh, yeah. So she has that going for her, as shallow and superficial as that is. Yeah, and she she does need the money. <laughs> like, she shockingly has a very low net worth for the amount of work she's done and the amount of fame she has. Britney? Yeah, she only has um, like 60, 60 million dollars to her name, as mm -hmm. far as Google tells us. Um, and it's because she was, you know, taken advantage of for so long mm -hmm. by her management yeah. and her dad. And now that she's out of the, those legal battles, um, she's able to finally make some money off of her fame again. Um, I highly doubt that her memoir was not written ghost by, written. Yes, of course yeah. not. But um, you know, it's IP and IP is king in Hollywood. Yeah, they so buy they, up they buy up yeah. books like this all the time right away. Yeah, and as soon as this announcement was made, a bunch of people online were fan casting who they think should play Britney. So just first impressions, who do you guys think? I couldn't this I couldn't think of anyone. I like normally I would have at least one person in mind based on a person's facial structure that I would think to play them and nobody really came to mind as somebody that mm -hmm. has as distinctive of a face and a look as she had when she was you know, if the, if this is telling the story of the early part of her career, mm -hmm. like I couldn't think of anyone off the top of my head. Like can you think of anyone to play her throughout the ages? Like no. young I, versus like in her 20s and her 30s. A lot of people now. were saying they're saying Sydney Sweeney in the chat, and maybe they're not wrong. Yeah. Well, she was distinct in that she actually wasn't all that distinct looking. She had this very all American blonde mm -hmm. look that is, uh, it's now an archetype that has long since been replaced by like ethnically ambiguous BBL <laughs> girls. Yeah. Um, like she, She's not really repeatable, um, but I did see a lot of fan casts. One of them was Haley Bieber, formerly Haley Baldwin. No, I, I hate that one. I Which want then just who can actually <laughs> sing and dance. Like, yeah, how are you going to find someone to play Britney Spears who also has the talent to to sing and dance? As I mean, Britney plenty Spears? of celebrities, plenty of actors also sing. So that mm -hmm. I don't think that's actually as hard of a thing to find as you think. I, I would love them to use someone who is up and coming who truly is just genuinely talented and hasn't been discovered yet, who was mm -hmm. able to portray her from when she was young up until this, you know, her age now, mm -hmm. um, throughout all the years of the singing and the dancing and like who actually has not just that down with the acting chops to do all the meltdowns and public mm -hmm. humiliation and all, the, all that stuff mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. I can't think of any celebrity that's already established and well known that I think would fit that role um, perfectly. Like Sydney Sweeney, to my knowledge, she doesn't sing, so that would be crossed off the list. They're not, that's not that's not a necessity though. Yeah, you can yeah. you can dub. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I guess you could do that. Um, but also, oh. I don't think she's great at acting. <laughs> Perfect. What about Reese Witherspoon's daughter? She kind of has that. All oh yeah, look. I didn't even think about that. Um, yeah, she's pretty she, young. She's right? like the spitting image of Reese Witherspoon too. Um, I saw other people suggesting Emma Watson, but she's. She's too old to play a teenager. So how old like, would this be? Would it, wouldn't you she have, have to, to be early twenties or late mid twenties like, at the yeah. oldest? Yeah. Well, someone who's going to be playing her as a teen all the way probably to her thirties would have to be probably early to mid twenties. Yeah. Right now, um, they did it really well in Priscilla, like aging her up in a way that wasn't super contrived and, and like CGI. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know how they could do that for Britney. Just have Britney do it. 
Should we? Should we have just Brittany? DH Jamie Lynn? Is that gonna put her to? I like, suggested Jamie Lynn and DH. Jamie Brittany Lynn. can't do it because she's just gonna be like reliving her trauma. That's fine. Too yeah. much. She's I gonna actually. That, I heard like, you're supposed to do it. that these days. You're supposed to, you know, if you relive it, you can really get over. It. Just to is it say, gonna be a healing journey get, for get her? Get some producer to drop a bunch of therapy speak on her about how making <laughs> this movie will be great for her mental health. <laughs> a lot of people also suggested Addison Ray. They're just listing. Like singers that are popular but, now, but that, Addison Ray does. Addison Ray has a resemblance to like young Britney. Yeah, and I, I mean, do see she it. she blew up at what sixteen for her dancing on TikTok, kind of like definitely similar. not on the same scale. Yeah. but there's something to draw there's upon. There. Haley Haley Baldwin is definitely Putin's daughter. Yeah, that kind of unraveled into the conspiracy theory that Haley Bieber is secretly Putin's daughter, and I definitely see it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with yeah. Yeah, there are people who believe Haley Baldwin is is Putin's daughter, and there are people who are lying to themselves. Exactly. <laughs> that's yeah. That's one of my favorites. Tate McRae was also in the suggestions. I find all of this kind of depressing because so much of like my childhood now, or like my teen years, which are getting made into these biopics, um, it just feels like you're getting to it too quickly. Like you should wait until these people are older. No, wait until they're wait dead. Wait for them to die. Anymore. Wait until they are dead or don't. <laughs> but the problem is, is with the advent of streaming services, there's just all sorts of content that needs to be made. Mm -hmm. And people don't have any interest in what, let's face it. Like most people, young people don't have an interest in watching something about somebody who's dead. The, yeah. the news cycle moves too quickly. We're only interested in what's new. Walk the Line was a great movie. But classic, 15 very years successful. ago, right? 2009. Yeah. For people my age, I... And I'm talking about like, streaming, you know, like we're just talking yeah. about there's so much content being made now that... There, yeah. there are so many millennials and Gen Xers who would want to see the Britney movie. Like there's an audience for it. But for mm -hmm. people my age, we didn't grow up with Britney Spears at all. Um, like the first time I became aware of her existence was like probably the umbrella photos, <laughs> the, the 2007 breakdown. That's all I knew about her um, and like a couple of her hits, but I didn't grow up with her. So there's also like a curiosity factor there. I mean, I think they need to make some type of weird sci-fi movie about all those songs that were her, but weren't her and turn it into like some type the of spy thriller about, about toxic an evil AI movie that wrote like that wrote her songs when it went sentient back in mm. the early 2000s <laughs> that nobody knows about like WMG music group was actually who created the first AI what about Miley Cyrus could she uh, could she play Britney no no she'll never be able to do the voice true unless she's good yeah. we'll just dub it just yeah. dub it um Margot Robbie was also in the suggestions Too for old. this She's too old to play her. Um, Sabrina Carpenter was one of the suggestions. I mean, I guess. But, you know, the better I choice here, guys, would be to do a shot-for-shot -shot remake of the movie Crossroads. <laughs> yeah. And and then put... Um, bring back Taryn Manning. Bring back Taryn... In fact, you bring back everyone but Britney Spears for that yeah. movie, <laughs> and you just don't <laughs> just, acknowledge it. Just use AI to put Britney in it. It's fine. Yes. Um, Lily Rose Depp was also suggested, but... She already did the pop star role and everyone hated it in mm. The Idol. Um, Millie Bobby Brown, that's not a bad choice. Again, I'm just, I'm not thinking of anybody that, <laughs> yesterday I saw this actress named Jamie King and she's just, she's a spitting image for Danielle Panabaker and those are two actresses that you could put side by side and depending on the lighting, they look very much alike. I can't mm -hmm. think of an analog like mm -hmm. that to for Britney Spears. I just well, can't. you said Jamie Lynn Spears, just DH her. Yes. That's the easiest <laughs> one. But I don't think Britney would approve that. Jamie Lynn didn't age as well as Britney, oh, no. so it's not really an option. Um, Terry Crews and Morgan Freeman were of also course. listed. Well, that Terry, would be great. Terry Crews in a wig would Not work. Renee Rapp. Just whatever you do. <laughs> don't make fat not Britney. Not Renee Rapp. Don't please. make fat Britney. Oh, I know Renee not. Rapp can sing, but no fat Britney. Just I don't know. think they're going to mess around with the Britney Spears movie or like try to make it woke or anything like that. Fat. I hope not. Just a movie called Fat Britney. And it's, <laughs> it's just a retelling of Britney Spears' life, except the actress is fat. I don't know. I'm kind of behind the idea of Addison Rae now. Um, she's putting out a song soon, uh, literally titled Diet Pepsi. I have no idea how you can release a song called Diet Sponsored Pepsi without Pepsi. a sponsorship 
from Diet Pepsi, <laughs> or you have to give them all of the revenue from the streams. But, Hawk um, to a girl. Hawk to a girl totally has the, um, the Southern physiognomy. But but does she have the acting chops? I guess we would have to find I out. I mean, does she have talent? Do you need <laughs> acting chops to have a mental breakdown and shave your head? I don't know. She might, you know, with all the What's attention she's getting. is Britney Spears is not the greatest actress herself. Exactly. But this we need perfect. a good actor to play her. Well, I, I saw her audition clips. It is true. It is a clips. skill to learn how to act badly when you know how to act well. Britney's audition clips for The Notebook were not, you know, yeah. they weren't bad. It mm -hmm. was impressive for someone who wasn't, like, trained in that way. And she was, she was like, in the Disney machine. Like, yeah. she was a performer from childhood, so I didn't think she was that bad. Mm -hmm. So who are they going to get to play Justin Timberlake in all this? Oh, Yeah. So, see, people haven't even thought about that. Yeah. But, you know, Justin Timberlake's ramen haircut is it's in, in style again. Yep. So I'm Have sure you ever it would seen be that easy. dude who makes the parody in sync videos on Instagram? And whenever he impersonates Justin Timberlake, he puts ramen on his head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's gonna be May yep. every single April. He lost. Uh, he got his license taken away. I saw he because of his DUI. Justin, yeah. yeah. Oh, did he? yeah. He he's not doing like so a, well. He's in his own breakdown right now. They'll make that movie too, and it'll come out on in May. <laughs> on, it'll come out on TV. <laughs> no, it'll come out in May, so they can say <laughs> it's going to be May. Yeah, but yeah. no one wants to see that. Britney's way more interesting. Yes. Um, I don't know. Do you feel like it's kind of cheapening her life to make it into this like consumable mm. product? It's true of all Hollywood celebrities. Like, am I supposed to believe that it's somehow deeper because it hasn't been monetized? It's just as much trauma as it was before. It's yeah. just going to maybe benefit her down the line financially. Like, she already released the the trauma memoir mm -hmm. that she wasn't... Now, now we need the trauma movie. <laughs> and after that, you can have the trauma stage play. Yeah. And eventually uh, the trauma podcast if things get really bad for her. See, it's... And then the it's trauma only fans. Hard yes. not to Hopefully be cynical not. in this day and age when, you know, people are cashing in their trauma coins. I just, I don't think that it's somehow any worse. Like, because they're making a movie out of it. I mean, they, they made the Free Britney doc. That was a profit-driven project. Yeah. And she wasn't involved in that. Are they going to call it Free Britney? Do you think they're going to call it Probably. The Free Britney? I mean, that's a great name. Yeah. Or just call it Blackout. I feel like they, that movement's too touchy of a subject now. It's too For controversial. Them to call it free Britney. They don't want to poke the bear. Her fans are crazy. I do think Britney fans are are crazier than Britney, which is saying <laughs> a lot. <laughs> I mean, early Stan culture, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. What that, that was is. like the first iteration of it, maybe. Yeah. yeah, but they ended up being right about something that people thought was conspiratorial, right? What? Well, about the conservatorship and that she yes. was like... I mean, yeah, but she keeps proving over and over again that she's a little crazy. So, she, yes, you know. she keeps proving that maybe, after all, like, she wasn't capable of handling like, her own and life. You, yeah. know my, you know my thoughts on this. It's like, just because a woman acts out in her own home doesn't mean I think that the government should in any way be involved in, in her life right now. And clearly the system had a breakdown in her care that totally took advantage of her. Mm -hmm. However... It doesn't mean that you can't acknowledge that some of the behavior is a little bit out there. I still yeah. don't think the government should be involved, but the people weren't inherently wrong. It just depends on where you fall in the authoritarian scale. I think if she wants to drive around with prop knives, that's, you know. <laughs> no, no. Actually, I don't know, because then you're on the road with other people. But uh, if, she wants to, if she wants to juggle prop knives in her home. If and she maybe, wants to become a chef. Yeah. Yell at what you in do, the Carl's Jr. What you do in the, in the privacy of your own home is your own business. Yes. Yeah. Okay, reset the count. Thanks for watching. Listen to full episodes of Pop Culture Crisis on Spotify. Keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show. Bye, guys.